Hey Blocks Crew, welcome back to another Pet Simulator X video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the candy canes the fastest amount of times. So you see, I'm not done with breaking all of my candy canes, but I'm going to be showing you the fastest way of getting them. And um, let's get into it. But first off, I got to open some of the Christmas eggs. Okay, so here is the best method I found out for breaking candy canes. So what you want to do is you want to zoom out um, to where you can see like the next area or whatever, just so you can get your head over everything. And then you want to turn your pet sinning to single. So it's like not all your pets are sinning onto that one singular candy cane. And what you want to do is you want to go through these areas and click them all at the same time. I should probably zoom out a little bit more just to make it better. Um, and then you just break them all one at a time. It's best if you have VIP servers for this, by the way, because um, once all the candy canes are broken in every single world, you're gonna wanna reset the server or you wanna change servers if you don't have your own VIP server. So let's just keep going through here. Don't forget that things can respawn. So if there's nothing else respawning in this one area, then just go on to the next one. Okay, there's another candy cane right here. I don't think there's anything in the VIP area, um, but we're gonna speed up this process as we um, get candy canes through this entire world. And then once we're done with this world, we are gonna go to another one, like the fantasy world or the tech world. So as you can see, this area is like completely broken, like there's nothing else spawning in. I mean, yes, you can break stuff which would spawn in more candy canes, but I think that's just not fast enough, let's be honest here. Um, yeah, see, like it did spawn in one more, but why would you do that when you can just go to another area in the world like this? Since this entire world has now been completed and cleared of all the candy canes, we are going to go to the fantasy world. We're here, let's wait for everything to spawn in, and you want to do the same thing for every world by just going in and then just clicking everything from being zoomed out. So let's do this, do this, do this, boom, best way possible to get candy canes. And if you don't have that good of pets, it's alright, I think you can still do this with like the normal world if you can't get to like the tech world or anything. Okay, now we're gonna go to the tech world. Which, if you don't know how to get there, you have to go to the glacier area, and um, which is like this ice area in the main world. And then you want to go over here. If you don't have enough fantasy world coins, then gotta grind for that. And then you just enter this cannon right here. And now you're in the tech world. Now that every world 
has been went through and um, you've broken all the candy canes, what you want to do is you want to change servers or reset your VIP server and then they should all respawn. So I'll be right back once I reset it. Okay, we have reset the server and everything should spawn in and you should have more candy canes. Yes, there you go. That's the best way to get candy canes. Now I'm going to complete this um, quest and getting this 1,250 candy cane. So I will be right back once I have it done. We have completed the quest for the Christmas event. Let's go to the Christmas area and see if we have actually completed it. Yes, we have. It only took me like 10 minutes to complete it um, in total. So the next one to unlock the sleigh, I had to break 40 a gingerbread chest, which is gonna take me a long time. But if you guys did enjoy this video and it did help you out, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video.